want to uh, extend the condolences of the Socialist Equality Party to all those, the, the families of all those who lost their lives in a fascist attack yesterday in New Zealand and uh, our deepest condolences and, and sympathy and uh, uh, you know, for the, those struggling uh, whose lives are still in danger. There are some 40 odd, 48 people, I believe, in hospital, many of whom are in critical condition. You know, this is the outcome of what Chelsea Manning risked everything to expose. You know, illegal criminal wars, um, which were justified by the most, you know, the stoking of the most vicious, foul, racist, anti-Muslim sentiment. You know, the governments of uh, the United States, Britain and Australia, as well, you know, and the ruling elite in New Zealand bear full responsibility for this atrocity, particularly the government of Australia. You know, it was an Australian citizen who carried out this mass murder. And this is, you know, comes in the wake of 18 years now of just continuous stoking of hysteria and xenophobia to justify Australian involvement in uh, Afghanistan, Iraq, then Libya, then Syria, uh, Iraq again, uh, and so on, as well as to justify their brutal uh, treatment of, of, of the desperate refugees who are, uh, are seeking to flee the consequences of these wars, you know, people from, you know, in particular from Afghanistan and, and, uh, and, and so on. Absolutely. No, I, I read uh, a brilliant article, as always, this morning by Caitlin Johnstone discussing that exact link, that the type of Islamophobia that was encouraged after 9-11 in order to justify these, um, you know, imperialistic wars across across the Middle East. So I, I think that that link is an important one. It's a devastating uh, terrorist attack, and you know, I also extend condolences to everyone affected. For sure. Just published an article written by Susie Dawson, of course, one of the founders of Unity for J, um, about the New Zealand massacre. And the point she's making is uh, the surveillance, the mass surveillance we've all become aware of. Uh, instead of spying on the on a guy like this and or a group he may belong to, let's say, <laughs> they're spying on innocent citizens, and they miss. They seem to they seem to keep missing all these things, and of course the threat of terrorism allows them to get more money uh, out of our pockets and to make sure they keep their jobs and they increase their own power. So they need terrorism. They need these things, but then they'll get more money. <laughs> Instead of getting fired and getting new people in there, they keep their jobs, they get more money. So Susie wrote a piece talking about surveillance in New Zealand and how they could have possibly missed this. We obviously know why the Western governments uh, want to get Assange and stop WikiLeaks, because then they can carry on in peace and quiet with their impunity, the crimes and the corruption that they become used to doing. And he's disturbed that. He's made their lives a little more difficult. The importance of uh, freedom of information, uh, the importance of our access to that information uh, is, is being threatened and undermined all the time in ways that we uh, don't ne necessar aren't necessarily aware of. Um, and WikiLeaks is, is, a, is, a is, is a warrior. It's a real David and Goliath metaphor. Um, and I think... We need um, to have uh, institutions and people that we're proud of and we have to be able to see that WikiLeaks is something that's homegrown, that's Australian in origin and we can be proud of it and we can defend it. And I say that on a day when Australians are just um, astonished uh, because an Australian has been responsible for gunning down people in, in a mosque in New Zealand. Um, there are enough reasons to be concerned about our society. So, uh, and we have to be able to express that concern and to say, uh, this is not us. This is something we are deeply mortified at, uh, ashamed at. Um, and equally, we have to have the courage to say, but we are very proud of this because this little organisation is providing a service to democracy, not just for us, but for people around the world. Because if you look at the, the, the stories that have emanated from the information that WikiLeaks has provided, um, it just goes on and on, including Venezuela. 
uh, and and the, the whole issue around the power grid in Venezuela and the interest that the US has um, had in that for a very long time. 